So, I think my best bit today, and it's always my favourite bit when we get to rind Wylan up. <laughs> <laughs> rind Wylan up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Although that's just become my favourite bit of the show. <laughs> yeah, wind we love to rind Wylan up. Wind wind Wylan up. Wind Wylan up about the, uh, the, the, his, his forthcoming job on X Factor. Well, we're, we are dreadful. I mean, hopefully we haven't scuppered his chances, but um, no, obviously... No, but the kind of thing I think we've added to it. Because we know that... Uh, that Karen Flack has gone, and, that, and then Ollie Murs followed soon yeah. after from X Factor, so it is currently hostless. Mm. And, um, and Ryland's five to one. And we were just teasing him. We just wanted to know whether he's had, uh, had the phone call. I think he should. I think he'd be great. I think he'd be great. So do I. X Factor. Let's it's start the with biggest that, story. Yeah, with you. So when are you that. signing on the dotted line? Please leave it out. It's embarrassing. It's, it's so muggy. No, look, Ollie's, uh, Ollie's left. Caroline's gone. Nick Grimshaw's gone as well. So there's a space on the judging panel now as well. It's in turmoil. It's, it's all going on over at X Factor Towers. What they need is a steadying hand on the tiller. And that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got... okay, OK, let me put this another way. Would you do it? Do you know what? I would. I'd, look, I come from X Factor. It's the show that I started on. I love the show. Yes, of course I would go back. Right, I was right there, I've said I it. I think you'd be brilliant. But obviously, I've got no intention of leaving Big Brother. I love my job Debbie, there. Debbie, you can do Debbie both. Debbie says, Ryland for X Factor. Hope you're listening, Simon. Let's start a petition. Thanks, Sue Debbie. says, Ryland should get the job as host. He's simply the best. Ella says, Ryland's done a great job on this morning. He'd be brilliant on the X Factor. Alison says, Ryland would be amazing as an right, X Factor. Up now, yeah, but up Susan up. says, get Dermot back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? This is, this is my point. So there is a lot of people that are in the frame. Uh, Emma's name's come up, my name's come up, Dermot's name to come up again. The thing is, all, all I would just want to sit there and say is, whoever ends up doing that job, it's got to be a fan of the show because these shows do not work if it's not someone that's not in the show, like doesn't yeah. really have any time for it. I just want someone to do that job. I don't care who it is mm. that loves the show. Dermot, let me just quickly say, when on my series, the one thing that I love about Dermot is off camera, nothing to do with anything, he come down just before the live shows to our hotel. He took us all out for a little drink just to get to know us. And you need someone like that yeah. that's going to get to know the contestants and be in it emotionally. No, Obviously, right, we've right. put you on the spot here a little bit, made you uncomfortable, so I'm sorry, sorry. about that. No, it's well, fine. No, it's it's look, one then, like, I'll, I'll be honest, I've not been asked to do it. No. I've never been asked to do it. That if was going to be my final it's question. Something I'd love do you to do. swear you haven't had a phone call? I swear I've not. I've How had many phone calls. I've had many phone calls. It depends who from. Five to one contender. Five to one the bookies are putting you. I'll put a ten on it. You never know. But I don't, even, <laughs> I, I don't endorse gambling. Best bit for a Tuesday. Well, it was a moment in showbiz uh, when Fern McCann was talking about um, Charlotte Church's 30th birthday party. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Happy birthday. Apparently, it was described like a war zone by people that live nearby, people sleeping in cars, drunk people walking through the valleys, all a bit raucous, went on till 5.30. And uh, we, th there was just one moment when there was a certain... Person. Charlotte is believed to have left it to a crew and not cleaned up herself. Well, you have a Charlotte Church, someone can come and clean, can't they? That's all right, isn't yeah. it? But um, so that, that uh, the noise could be her three miles away. She hired a band to play in her garden. Um, it sounds like a great night, but... Uh, but there was one person that said that they could still hear the bass thumping in their hearing aid. So this gentleman wore a hearing aid but could still hear it. And I said, I didn't say it, but I thought... We both thought it. Take he was the lucky one. <laughs> like, just switch it off. I mean, you say, of all of the people in that area, the one person who could have drowned that noise, got rid of that noise. But no. Just do that. You Done. know what? This is too noisy for me. Hi, Charlotte. Finished. The good thing is, best bit for a Wednesday, and we were all mates. Mm. So, um, interestingly, Keith Lennon's team um, said that he had to leave on the dot of 12 today. Tut, tut. After he'd done his interview. And um, we've just had to chuck him out. <laughs> we really do. Call security to throw him out of the building. Can I just show you as well? Oh. So when we're over there doing things, like presenting a live TV show, this, oh my gosh, uh, this is the kind of thing that they're doing on my phone. Where are you? Are you there? That? Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That, which looks really dodgy, but that's actually only his elbow. That's that little bit there. If you fold, oh, your, yeah. el elbow if you fold your elbow in like that, it makes a bum. But so my phone is full of all these things, and I don't even know how they got into it, because it's got a code on it. Yeah, but you can take pictures without uh, a code. Did you not know that? You can bypass that. 
And why is there a strawberry in my tea? <laughs> <laughs> Less carnage in here. Oh. We love having him in. Do we, though? <laughs> <laughs> we love it when he goes. <laughs> So, best bit for today, I'm going to go for Nikki, who was our Sports Illustrated model, who is the oldest model to ever grace their pages. She's absolutely beautiful. Sat down on our sofa, everyone in Iowa went, God, she's gorgeous, and she really was, wasn't she? 56 years old, was walking in a bank with her twin daughters about three years ago and was spotted, and her feet haven't touched the ground since. She's yeah. absolutely loving it, and she loves the fact that she's an ambassador for older ladies, mature yeah. ladies, uh, curvier ladies. If you're not a, but the perfect model yeah. that you would expect... We should get her to do some more stuff, Yeah, yeah, I, I thought uh, she was fantastic. And uh, but lots of people say, you know, sort of, uh, how's Clover doing? She's, um, she's, uh, she's down here right it's now. It's Shumping the end of the show. Bed. We finished the show about five minutes ago, and she hasn't finished her bone yet. And, uh, and none of us like to leave the studio until that bone is completely finished. <laughs> so we'll so, be here um, until next week. We're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and until um, Clover finishes her bone. So it's Friday, mm -hmm. and and what do you do? End of the working down of Friday, you go home and you have your takeaway. You have your takeaway normally, I have a curry. You have a curry, I'll yeah. have a saveloy, something Chicken like a, a nice bit of meat of something. Nice bit of meat, but if you fancy a meat-free weekend, or maybe just on Sunday or something, uh, John Tarode was in today, and I have to say, the smells coming from that kitchen today were delicious, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, it was, the food was absolutely incredible. His tagine, his spicy yeah. vegetarian tagine. You can put a bit of meat in it as well, he, was, he did. But so he if you've got someone that just, you know, has to have meat, you just cook a piece of chicken or fish separately, yeah. and then you serve it with the vegetable tagine, but it was absolutely delicious, apart from Ben burnt his tongue yes. on a hot potato. Careful on the hot potatoes. <laughs> and, and John's just come back from Australia, so he wasn't really sure where he was with jet lag. <laughs> but the food tasted delicious. <laughs> then what happens is all of your vegetables and all your stuff comes together to make this. Look. Look at that. That does look delicious. And you pour all that in. Well, it smells good, doesn't it? Oh, thanks, Ben. I'm really pleased we've got some positive out of it today. <laughs> Very good. Wait, really you know, good. And, and now you've taken the top bit off. It looks nice now. Now, so what, what, honestly, guys, look at the colours. They look beautiful. What? Aren't they beautiful colours? That's, that's what I'm just saying. Some fresh mint, some fresh coriander. Goes across the top. Du -du 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 -dum. Da -da -da -da. Now, should you have lots of vegos in your family? There you go. Vegos. Oh, there you done. go. Yeah. If you've got somebody who eats meat, take some chamula, rub it over a piece of fish or a piece of meat, and just Maybe. grill it. Serve it on the side, and you've got it all done. And the family's fed. A bit of couscous. Where's my dish? There you go. Okay. A bit of that. I'm going to do... Please be... Do it's, 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 it's hot. Um, it's a really hot potato, sorry. It's good. <laughs> I'll read your bit, then. He did warn you, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> he just done it, too. Mm, delicious. It's really delicious. <laughs>